केम शो नमस्ते सताल अदाब के मनाशन प्यारे दोस्तों प्यारे दर्शकों आप जो निग् स्वागत है जस कैमरे की नज़र प्रोग्राम शुरू हो चुका है जस पंजाबी के उत्ते अज काफ़ी सारिया वधिया तो कुछ दुखी खबर मैं लैके हाजिर होया है पेल आप वीये जी गलों वाले पास चल रहे हैं आ, वैसे तो मैं थोड़ा दस दवा छोटी छोटी जी हैडलाइनस है कि जिदा मान लो कि अफगानिस्तान के गुरुद्वारे उत्ते फिर अटैक होया है सिखा की बड़ी प्रॉब्लम जो अफगानी सिख है वो बारे भी गल करा मगर यह कि इलैक्शन प्रायमरी इलैक्शन चल रहे हैं वो बड़ा जोर लगा है सारे पास रिचमेंट हल एरिया है उ जपनीत सिंह जोड़ा कि साड़ा पंजाबी कम्यूनिटी का यंग मुंडा है वो अगे बद के निकलिया है और इस ही इंडोसमेंट प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस जी है वह की गई कि करके जुमाने फॉर गवर्नर ऑफ न्यूयॉर्क एना मारिया ये जपनीत सिंह ने और रिचमेंट हिल गुरु घर के जेडे प्रधान है जतेंद्र सिंह बोपा राय उन्होंने ये आयोजन किया अलग अलग कम्यूनिटियां कट्ठिया हुई पाकिस्तानी भी कट्ठे हुए बंगाली भी कट्ठे हुए अपने अपने विचार साझे किए उस तो बाद वह सीधे पहुँचे एक सौ पच्ची स्ट्रीट लिबर्टी एवन्यू के उत्ते जिते एक बड़ा मनभागा हादसा होया फ्राइडे तीन घर नालों नाल जोड़े कि भयानक अग की चपेट के आ गए कुछ एक दो मौत भी हो गई तो उ जाके जोड़े उन्होंने ऑनर से कम्यूनिटी के लोग से उन्होंने गलबात भी की थी तो आओ लेके चलते हैं थोनो रिचमेंड हिल सेट दैट एनी मोर एंड एज योर लुथेनन गवर्नर आई विल नेवर अलाउ दोस पॉलिटिक्स टू गो थ्रू विदाउट बीइंग चैलेंज्ड आई विल ऑलवेज ऑलवेज स्पीक अप फॉर अस आई विल ऑलवेज डिमांड व्हाट वी डिजर्व एंड आई आई विल ऑलवेज कनेक्ट विद यू टू मेक श्योर दैट आई एम एक्चुअली सो द अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड द कंट्रीब्यूशंस दैट दिस कम्युनिटी मेक्स एवरी सिंगल डे सो जब नीड एंड आई एम वर्किंग अलोंगसाइड यू ऑन विद बीइंग एन इमिग्रेंट Added on with having a different religion, adding on with having to choose whether you look different or worship how you worship and be who you are, but we're saying no to that. No one is going to choose. People are going to be who they are. They're going to worship who they worship. They're going to love who they love. They're going to represent themselves how they represent their culture, and that's the New York we're going to have. And that's what our campaign is about. As Anna Maria said, there is enough money in this state to make sure everybody has what they need. We asked for a billion dollars to be good put into the budget for gun violence prevention, for youth services, for service victim services. We didn't get that. We got a billion dollars for a stadium to be built in Buffalo. Meanwhile, you have communities who are dealing with hate crime issues and not getting the responses that they need, not getting the victim services that they need. And then on top of that, struggling like everybody else to stay at home, not get evicted, not get foreclosed on. make sure their children do better than they do. Japnet represents the best of that. And so I'm very excited today to be cross endorsing with Japnet Singh and asking everybody when they come out to vote for myself and Anna Maria. For me to have such a honor of having an endorsement from the sitting public advocate from such a prominent leader uh in immigrant uh services and as well as all the other uh equality fights that Anna has fought over the years I actually fought with her to pass the Dream Act I fought with um Jamani to make sure education affordable at student leadership level so these are foreign people to the movement and the fact that they believed in in the surgeon uh in against an incumbent that's been in power for 30 years that's not a small feat so please give him a big big round of applause for believing in our movement um there's so many things that happen in southeast queens there's a fire that just happened seven short blocks away from where we are and guess what no elected official has still come there uh guess so who, who guess who asked about the fire though the two people behind me you know um th- those are small fights we had three people that were lost and there's so many countless other fights that we have in this community that have gone ignored that have gone uh without any kind of proper response including the hate crimes that we had after the first two that all the pop politicians gathered for the the other three no one even mentioned nor on the news it wasn't on twitter it wasn't even on their press releases so that goes to show how much they really care about our community it's always about can you vote for us can you donate to us but when we need you we're not going to be here for you and that's why this movement is so prevalent the support of these two individuals is so important um but again early voting has started so we can go out right now to vote for both of them uh, my election still is still 2 months away in august 
but I am committing my full support, anything and the entire Sikh community support to Jamani Williams and my sister Anna Maria, and we will make sure that these folks are the next governor and lieutenant governor of this great state of New York. I want to say that I was very happy to say that our young Japanese Singh, who has got such a great support in the city, because the first time it happened, we have a lot of elections, but no one has got a personal attack, and no one has got a personal attack. So, I'm very happy to say that I was 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 very happy to say that because AD Vaddi Sport was the first time we had to get a big chance. Our first time we had to get a big chance 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 to get a big chance. We didn't get to get a big chance to get a big chance to get a big chance. But we didn't get a big chance to get a big chance. It was the first chance to get a big chance. It was a big chance to get 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 a big chance. We had to get a big chance to get a big chance to make great things happen in the community from the day one. So he already has a good team and leadership. All he needs is our support. Not only do we celebrate Juneteenth throughout the United States, to get today we bring together communities of color here in Richmond Hill, Queens. I remember what Jumani had said a few weeks ago at Diversity Plaza, that coming together communities of color and fighting for our voice to ensure that we are no longer disregarded, we are no longer disfranchised. This is a step in the right direction to ensure that our communities of the South Asian and communities of color are no longer being disregarded. With Japanese, I met with Japanese two years ago. This is a leader, and this year he will win. I know. And so I'm here because this community requires leaders like Japanese. We're both sons of immigrants, and in fact, I'm really honored to be here with Giovanni and Anna Maria as well who have their hearts in the right place. Running against incumbents is not easy, but we know it's necessary. If there's one thing we learned in the last two years through the pandemic and then its subsequent recovery, and I put that in quotes because the recovery has been unequal. It leaves so many communities behind. It leaves working people behind. It leaves shortages of baby formula for some of us while it creates massive amounts of wealth for a few of us. And that's because we have a system of incumbency protection in play here in New York for decades. In 2018, when I ran for Congress uh, for the first time, there were zero out of 537 offices in the state of New York, from the City Council, the State Senate, the Assembly, to federal, state, and local offices, there were zero Indian Americans or South Asians in office. There are today four. Japneet will be the fifth. Individuals with the citizens, mental health. So we don't have anything here. The mental health program, we don't have anything, basically. And you just tell your, <laughs> your wife or your sister, let them do the work. Trust me, this works. And second thing is August 23rd. August 23rd is the vote for Japanese. And once this uh, race is over, we're going to focus heavily on, on Japanese here as well to make sure that he's in the office. And lastly, we are going to go to the house that is burned down, the neighborhood. Uh, all three of the candidates right here will walk there. I will be there as well. My name is Ana Maria Archila. I'm a candidate for lieutenant governor, and I am here today few days after the fire that took lives and that took the homes of people to say that we are here, we're paying attention and we want to make sure that the victims who were impacted by this fire are supported. Jumani. Hi, this is terrible. I mean, we've been, um, we've been trying to figure out how to get these. Uh, we know folks need, particularly based on apartments, we're trying to figure out how to make sure we can get folks to do it in a way that's safe uh, and keep the affordability of, of the units. But it's a tough conversation to have. That's one I want to have as governor, because you need a lot of resources uh, to get folks to do what they need to do, but they have to do something, because you need the housing, but people are dying. I think right now, um, as community members, we need to just show up for our friends and neighbors. Um, you know, this is obviously a community that uh, the West Indian community, the, the Punjabi community has made, and it's our duty and our obligation to be here in times of need. And clearly, uh, those in charge aren't here, so that's why com the community has to come together. You know, uh, if you live down by the Gurdwara, if you live in South Ozen, please come by 125th Street and Liberty Avenue, donate some items and supplies for the families. And if you have any resources to the Red Cross or anybody, any, any organization that can help these families, 
प्लीज ब्रिंग इट नाउ नाउ इज द टाइम थैंक यू मैं यही कहना चाहूँगा कि अपने घर का ध्यान जरूर रखना चाहिए आए हादसे तभी होंगे ने कहीं गैस खुली रह गई असं घरों बहर चले गए ज कोई इलैक्ट्रिक शॉर्ट हो गए पर हले यदा कोई पता नहीं लगा कि की है आ, पर सू अपनी जिंदगी अपनी संभाल जरूर करनी चाहिए है गुआढ़ियों का भी देख करना चाहिए है